<laughs> My name is Alice Swamundia. I'm from Rwanda. But in 1994, we had a genocide. So that escalated into a civil war and a lot of people were killed where um, others had to run away. You just, you are disorientated, you are angry. You know, you, you, you ask yourself, but why? What did I do? I didn't do anything, I was a good girl. We had dreams like every young person. We had things we wanted to achieve, we had contributions we wanted to make to the world. And education was going to be very important because that's the only thing our brains, our passion and our determination was the only things that we had brought with us. Then the problem we realized was that firstly, tertiary education was not accessible for refugee students. People didn't understand what you were. A lot of institutions did not have a policy. So this is the one thing that we're looking forward to, the one thing that has not been taken away from us. Yet we are being told we can't. I didn't want to just state it, you know, block my dream. So starting UTRS, which is the unity for tertiary refugee students, became the vehicle with which we could address this issue of how do we get traumatized, disadvantaged, hopeless refugee students into tertiary education. One of the earliest moments I remember when I arrived here is I had to get into car guard. You know, you'd get your little salary and then divide that into, you know, family, school, and then new tiers. You know, this would be the money that would use for transport or if a student came and said, I haven't eaten two days, then, you know, that would be the kitty. But I had a little bit of something extra to give. And, and I gave that, and that made me so proud. So, you know, almost like reintegrated me into the human society, made me feel useful. And today we've managed to, to assist close to 1,200 people directly or indirectly with no resources. And that's for me the best, you know, the best gift ever. Realizing that my little contribution, however small, however indirect it was, has, has uh, you know, helped the person blossom and reach their fullest potential. I don't necessarily feel proud, I feel blessed. I feel blessed that, you know, despite the rain, there was a rainbow at the end of it.